Hello and welcome back. This is video number two. And my purpose of this video is to walk you around, show you a real live fan page and show you the process of why you need to have targeted Facebook fan page likes. Now, while that may seem like a no brainer, I want to share with you the whole process, how it works from the beginning to the end so that you understand how to set up your Facebook fan pages because your Facebook fan page may not be set up correctly to actually implement this strategy. All right. So when it comes down to it, you want to make sure number one, that you choose an image of a person that fits the demographics of your fan page. Now, obviously if that is you, that's fine. That's great. But if your demographics are primarily women, you might want to choose a woman of that age. If it's men, choose men and so forth. So as you can see here, this image here, I'm using a royalty free image of a woman because that fits this demographic. Now I want to show you something really cool because I haven't really touched this particular fan page in months, but yet it still runs itself simply because I'm utilizing the strategy of honing in on very, very specific targeted audiences. So as you can see here, I have just reached 20,000 page likes. And if it averages out to about a penny alike, then that's about $200. But realistically, when we ran the campaign, it was about three cents to about five cents. Now, like I said, we haven't really touched this for months and almost half a year, but it still runs itself. Now, as you can see the content that I'm using, they're basically images with quotes on them. And we chose the quotes that relate to the audience so that it resonates with them. So as you can see, 120 people were reached three engagements, and this was actually released just a couple hours ago. And here's another one. So as you can see here, this was released actually a couple of days ago, another quote on an image. You can see 182 people were reached to engagements and two people liked this particular content piece. So what I'm showing you is, and I want, want you to understand is that once you run these like campaigns, even if you stop them because the traffic is so targeted, the engagement continues on. So it's kind of like a snowball effect. It just keeps rolling and rolling and rolling. And the $200 that you invest for the 20,000 or the 10,000 likes that will continue on and on for months to come. So I want you to understand and be able to see that in the future so that you understand that, you know, this is not just a one off thing and it's just going to tank kind of thing. Now, in terms of how to create these images with the quotes, I will actually show you a tool that we use that uh, you'll be able to get the quotes and you'll be able to get the images. And it's just a matter of clicking a few buttons and you'll be able to create these tiny pieces of content really, really fast. What we found through testing is that most people, they, once they visually see something and they see a quote that resonates with them and the quote relating to the image, it actually creates uh, an impact. It makes them intrigued. It, it gets them to engage. So we'll talk about that in future videos, but for now, I really just wanted to show you that what we do here is we run a ad campaign and we target people specifically towards this image. Now, when we create the campaign, which I'll show you in just a minute, we don't target just one generic thing. So we actually target, typically we do research and we do research and find out, is there a business? Is there a software app? Is there a website? that relates to this here. And then we target that audience with something uh, motivational like this. And what ends up happening is uh, Facebook notices, aha, there, there's an engagement and there's even engagement even after the ads are finished running. So that means uh, that this fan page must be good. It must be having a good experience to get people to come and back. Here's another example. So I went to the notifications and as you can see here, it is actually November 30th as I'm recording this, but you can see that 
is November 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. So this obviously attracted somebody who might have been the person who clicked on the ad or it might have been the friend of the friend. You see, so a lot of times people share motivational quotes or something that resonates with them and then the snowball effect just continues. So even if you get 10,000 likes, that 10,000 likes could multiply to 15 or even 20,000 likes over time. Now, obviously there is gonna be a drop off if you haven't touched it for months or even uh, years. Uh, but the point here is that if you do have the ad campaigns running, uh, you should just continue that snowball effect. Now, on top of this, I want to mention that when it comes to running ads, a lot of times if you find that a image resonates with that of that country, that specific niche in that country. So even if it resonates really well with people in Bangladesh and then you find that it resonates with another third tier country, that's a good sign because now you're able to test what images actually work and what images don't work and which images are actually converting into page likes. So that's something that we figured out. So instead of trying to test things in the United States of America or United Kingdom or Canada up front, because what will end up happening is you'll spend thousands of dollars trying to test things out, trying to figure things out, versus you're testing pennies of a dollar with these penny likes and you're testing images to see which one works and then you take that information and then you set it up and you target it towards a tier one country that is when you are able to kind of set things up for success which we'll talk about more in the next video but i wanted to show you this for now so that you can kind of get some motivation that this is going to work for you if you follow the steps and if you create the targeted campaigns with the targeted content pieces. Now you might be asking, well, this is all great, but how do I make money as a business, you know, with the system? Well, what I'm showing you now is mainly the engagement side of things. So when Facebook allows you to run ads, for example, a lot of times they will disapprove your ads. But what we've seen over time is that a few things, if you spend more money in terms of ads and your site gets a lot of engagement and it has a lot of likes, like 20,000 20, likes, it tends to not disapprove your ads as much. So that's just something that we found over testing. So instead of spending thousands of dollars figuring that out for yourself, you can learn that from us. So. Think of this kind of like the engagement machine and the social proof and authority building machine. And on the other side, on the back end, you can run ads that have nothing related to this. So that way you can get a better relevant score. Basically what that means is that you're driving ads, you're driving traffic, people are coming to your Facebook fan page or your ad and they're engaging with it. And we'll talk more about how what we're talking about here, this strategy creates a winning strategy for you in the next video.